Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to have a quick look at bringing this Revit model into Max. Now we've looked at another uh, video where we spat out an, X, an FBX from, uh, from Revit and then brought that into Max and that was part of the Revit to Unity workflow. This time we're just going to XREF this into, uh, into Max and you'll see some of the advantages of doing that uh, in a moment. Now first of all we can see the building here, it's nothing uh, terribly difficult, this one was created by uh, one of my students, thank you very much. Um, so it's going to pop into the, the scene we're interested in here which is this one. So uh, it's just this kind of hot desk area and you can see a bunch of machines around and things like that. So this is our, our, our area of interest. So what I'm going to do now is just pop into Max like so and what I'm going to do is run a reference to that that file. Now um, a really really useful way to go about this is switching over to the design standard uh, workspace here and uh, we have a scene explorer and it's going to change up all of the, the menus and things now. And what we have in here is a very simple link Revit um, button available to us. So here we go. So under get started, um, file links here, and you can link Revit. Now this is also available in the, the standard menu, but once we get in here, it's actually quite handy to be in here. So link Revit, uh, let's go up a bit and go to Revit XREF, and there's the, the Revit file there. So I'm just gonna click open on this, and it's gonna ask me for a little bit of information about the file and how I want to group things. So it's working away. Manage links not responding. Clearly that's not good. And yet it'll come back. Okay. So all that mucking about was Max doing its thing. Um, now the one we're interested there is hot desk. It doesn't actually make a difference because we pulled these in anyway. Um, but this is the one I'm particularly interested in, so I'm gonna click OK on that. And then after that, we have uh, a couple of options available to us. So the first one there is combined by material. So we can combine the objects in the Revit model by material, category, family type, as a single object, or don't combine them, which would be pretty catastrophic. Um, as one object might be useful if you were doing an outdoor scene and you had a bunch of buildings outside that you wanted to put for backdrops and things like that, that could be useful. Uh, but don't combine, that's just basically going to turn everything into individual components. Um, I'm going to go with family type, so this will put the walls together, it'll put the chairs together, things like that. Um, so that's it, so view, and then we just click on the attach this file. And we just wait a moment while this loads up. Now one of the advantages of XREFing the, uh, the, the model in is if the model changes for whatever reason it'll automatically be reflected in our max views. Um, so we're going to do that now in a moment. But first let's have a look. So it's grabbing the materials, set the Revit file. Finally cameras. It's reporting everything down there. Okay, so we're creating a daylight system. Um, so it's saying, do you want well, mental ray photographic exposure control? So we're going to turn that on and say yes. Um, there we go. So this is the model in. And uh, if you look under files now, you'll see that this is the link to the file. So it's all sitting in there. So it's going to minimize that. Actually, probably just kill it off entirely. And now we can see our model. So there's our daylight system sitting here. Um, let's zoom back on that. So there's our view. Uh, and you can see where everything is there. So uh, let's have a look at the cameras. So let's see what we actually have. Sorry, it's still doing quite a bit of work there. So camera, and then there is hot desk. So there it is, uh, as it came in from Revit. So okay, a couple of things here. Um, just to show this off, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna delete this object here out of the Revit file, and maybe a couple of computers as well. So just popping back into Revit, uh, we can see here we have this figure. So let's hit the delete button there, 
and I'll also maybe I'll pull out yeah a couple of those max and a few phones as well just to be really obvious I'm gonna delete that phone in the foreground as well yeah maybe I'll take that out as well okay so we should have enough of a difference there to see so what I can do now is just save down this file so that's it it's done that but now when I pop back into Max if I go to manage links here you'll see that we now have a red flag on this and what this is saying basically is that there has been a change to the Revit file and we need to update so if I hit reload here like this uh, hopefully it's working we should see a reload taking place so there we go it's gone to work now when we do a reload it does give us some options so for instance um, the combined as before fine no problem but if we've already set up lights and systems inside our max model then we really don't want to bring that stuff in also uh, if we have previously assigned materials then it would make sense to keep the 3ds max ones so just keep those material assignments as they are in max and then click OK so really what we're doing is restricting changes to the geometry itself so it's preparing the view da, 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 da. let's see again materials not strictly necessary but it's going through the loops anyway so after a little wait we seem to be pretty much there so let's see what we get now it's geometry and here we go again or not uh, okay I need to just cancel that because I might have hit the buttons twice there we go and you'll see this time we'll, we've lost a couple of those max we've lost that figure and with a bit of luck this should render out pretty much okay um, we're going to spend a bit of time on this scene here and with material assignments and things like that in another video. Alright, thank you for watching.